Jason, if someone came to you and said they are serious about starting a YouTube channel and a YouTube business, what would you tell them? Uh, well, they do do that uh, quite often, uh, daily, every other day, weekly. Uh, I say, don't do it for uh, I want to make I want to make a lot of money. I want to be famous. Um, do what you think is great and interesting and and genuine to you first, and then the rest of it. If you do that, the rest of it will come. You know, if you put in the time. I mean, the the competition, the amount of content that's uploaded every minute uh, keeps growing, and, it, and it's 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 pretty daunting. So all you can do is be like, I love this. I think. I think the world needs to see this, and YouTube is a great place for that. So do that first, and always do that, and the rest, uh, the rest will come. So that being said, suppose someone is acting in their own mm -hmm. sort of artistic self-interest, and then what would you tell them they should expect in the first three years? Because I know things have gotten so competitive since right. like 2006. When oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's not. If it was easy, everyone would do it, and everyone would be successful. Uh, hard is a relative term because if you love it, it's not hard, and it's not work. But you know, making a video and uploading it, and then being like, the world's gonna love this. I love it. it. Is is the easy part? It's doing all the things it takes to get people to care. You know, I I say all my like kind of social media uh, sites are like my babies, and I gotta burp them and feed them and tell them I love them. And then uh, you know, relationships with blogs and other YouTubers and other creators is like kind of like my social life. So there's a lot of things that you have. There's a lot of upkeep. You know, putting up make. I, I wish it was easy as like I got a good idea. I'm gonna film a video and put it up and walk away. That's the easy part. The, the The difficult part is the upkeep you have to do every single day to uh, to keep all, all your kind of properties um, in front of people's faces as much as possible without annoying them. Would you say there's any baby mama drama? Do you ever have trolls and different things oh, that you sure. have to either respond to in a kind way or put in their place? You know, I, I'm kind of known for, I'm always really good at responding to people's comments. So. Uh, I, I win a lot of favor that way, but I do, you know, some people just don't like things. Um, I get a lot of hateful things. In fact, I did a video uh, series called Gay Reactions because since 2009 I've been getting things. Whether it's like, you know, people think these videos are real, which is great. They're like, why didn't you have sex with that girl? She wanted to have sex with you. I was like, it's, you know, in my mind, it's not a sex tape, it's a video it's, with a joke. And they, but, but they believe it's real so much. And then, you know, I'm just very comfortable with myself, so I make very, like, remarks that I make, so people just uh, are, are pretty hateful with, uh, you know, gay, bag, whatever they want to say. And, but you know what they're commenting? They're watching, they're engaging. You, if you're not getting hate comments, you're not, you're not doing as well as you should be. So think of it that way, that's what I do. When you say you're getting all of your properties in order, yeah. how much time is actually devoted to you sending these videos to bloggers or these different sites? You know, some some people are pretty lucky where their their subscriber base takes care of a lot of stuff. I don't trust in that. You know, they you know, YouTube's always kind of working to make itself better, so I don't trust that all, you know, my subscribers are going to take over. Um, I, you know, I find blogs that I have relationships with and, and that 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 targets certain things. So it's, I spend a lot of time either making relationships or contacting people, and it's free content for them. It, it you know it's it's they're putting it up. You're getting the you know it's embedded. You know that's my you know I want it embedded, and so I'm getting the traffic. You have free content that people are going to enjoy, and they're making money off their ads. Uh, and then it's just a lot of posting on you know you know social media sites. Uh, if it's a collaboration, which you know I'm kind of known for, it's getting the people that I collaborate with. It's like hey. You're in this. Can you promote it? And uh, that's like a huge key in 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 kind of getting sharing audiences because you want to share. Everyone wants to share audiences. You know, you can't. Everyone can't share everyone else's audience because it really will you know dilute things and people will be like, I, I, you're showing me too much. Um, but it's kind of finding that balance that's key. Do you think people are under the impression that oh wow I'm just making videos and being creative all day when most of it's actually administrative work in terms of like putting stuff on social media mm -hmm. or on like chill.com or whatever you know it, it's yeah it that's that takes more of the time uh, like I said like putting up the video is I, I wish we stopped at that and even you know at some meetings at you know YouTube or Google you know people spend a week making a video and like five minutes like on the you know the metadata the tagging the title the thumbnail and all the other stuff um, when you know that that's where uh, that you know great videos have not been seen. Just like great songs have not been heard, great books have not been written. But there's amazing videos out there that no one will ever see. There's 
terrible videos out there that everyone will see. So you have to um, you have to do that. You know, you have to do that work uh, unless you can find someone to find someone to help you. But um, you know, no one no one pushes, promotes, and is a better PR person than I am for myself. I know my work and I know my worth and I know what I I know what I do. So I just um, when I put up a video, I spend the time. Like I know I'm gonna spend the majority of that day. Uh, you know, doing what I need to do to get it out there.